Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to instantly get Facebook lead ads alert on WhatsApp. Suppose I'm having a business and to promote that business, I'm running an ad campaign on my Facebook page. And now I want that as soon as a new lead will be generated through Facebook lead ads, I should receive a WhatsApp notification automatically related to the details of that same lead. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to integrate both these applications and that we are going to do with the help of an amazing automation and integration software Pabli Connect. Now here we have Facebook lead ads in our trigger and in action I am going to take Wati through which I am going to receive WhatsApp template messages. If you want you can also take any other application here such as Interact or AI Sensei. And now we are going to connect both of them by using Pabli Connect in order to automate this entire process. And to learn this entire automation step by step let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up an instant WhatsApp alert for Facebook leads. Let's say I am running a Facebook page for my herbal store and to promote my business, I'm using a lead gen form. And now I want that as soon as a new lead will be generated through this lead gen form, I want to receive an instant WhatsApp notification for that same lead along with all the details. Here, in order to send WhatsApp template message, I am going to use Wati. Wati has the official API access of WhatsApp and with the help of Wati, we can send WhatsApp template messages. Now we are going to create this automation step by step by setting up a simple integration between Facebook lead ads and Wati and that we are going to do with the help of an amazing automation and integration software Pabli Connect without any coding or programming skills. Here this is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach directly by typing pabli.com slash connect this URL in our browser. Once we will reach on this home page we can find two options over here sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account. And also when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now as an existing user, I'm directly clicking on sign in. This is the all app section of Pabli where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Fably Connect. Now here on the dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we create. And we can also create folders here in order to save our workflows. As I have two folders here in this test integrations folder, I have saved a lot of workflows. In the same manner by creating multiple folders, you can save your workflows accordingly on the dashboard. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option given on right corner with blue color. Let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name. Instantly get Facebook lead alert on WhatsApp. Here, after giving the name, we also have to select the folder in which we want to save our workflow. So from the drop down, I'm going to select test integrations folder and now we will click on create. As we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us, trigger and action. Now, what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two concepts or the two principles on which the entire automation runs. Here, the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. Whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now, let's take the example of this workflow. Let's Let's say here we are going to take Facebook lead ads in our trigger and Bati through which we want to send or receive WhatsApp message as our action. And we want that as soon as a new lead will be generated for our Facebook page from Facebook lead ads, automatically the response of that lead should be captured here in Pabli Connect. And by using that response automatically, a WhatsApp notification should be received to us through Bati. Here we can find that our action is the response towards our trigger because when the trigger happens, that means when the Facebook lead is generated, then only a WhatsApp message is received to us through Wati. Okay, now after understanding the concept of trigger and action, let's start creating this workflow step by step. First of all, we will select our trigger application and our trigger application here will be Facebook lead ads. Let's select it. The next thing which we have to do is we have to select our trigger event. Now what is trigger event? Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to start. Here we are going to select new lead instant as our trigger event. As we want that whenever a new lead will be generated from Facebook lead ads, the response of that lead should be captured automatically here in Pabli Connect. And with that response, automatically the workflow should get triggered. Let's click on connect over here. And now from the given options, I'm going to select add new connection to build a new connection with my Facebook lead ads account. Here we will click on connect with Facebook lead ads. And very easily our authorization has become successful. 
So because I was already logged into my Facebook account, the authorization has become successful very easily. And now my Facebook lead ads is connected with Pably Connect successfully. You also have to keep in mind always to keep logging to the applications before making the connection with Pably Connect. Now we will move further. Now here after building the connection, we have to enter two details. First of all, we need to select the page that is our Facebook page. And the next is the lead gen form which we have created for generating the leads. Now, in order to understand this, again, I'm going to take you towards my Facebook account. This is the page I have on my Facebook account with the name as Ayush Herbal Store. And I've also created lead gen form to promote this business with the help of Facebook lead ads. And now I want that as soon as a person is going to fill that form and submit it, the response of that lead, the response of that form should be automatically captured in Pably Connect. For that reason, first of all, we are going to select our page over here. So my page is Ayush Herbal Store. I have selected it. And now the next thing which we have to select is the lead gen form. So again, I have multiple options of lead gen form. I am going to select this organic product form. Now I want that as soon as a person is going to fill this particular form, then only the response should be captured. Okay, so we have selected the page and the form and now we are going to click on save and send test request. As we do that, it is showing waiting for webhook response. What does this mean? This means that now we have to do a test submission by submitting the form which we have selected over here so that the response could be captured here in Pably Connect. How we are going to do that? For doing that, I'm going to take you towards Meta for Developers. And here we have to go towards My Apps. After coming on My Apps, we can find the option of Tools. Let's select it. And under the developer tools, we can find the option of other developer tools. Now we will simply select Lead Ads RTU Debug Tool over here and it has taken us towards lead ads testing tool. Now, with the help of this lead ads testing tool, we are basically going to test our integration. Here, I'm going to select my page and the form and as soon as I will submit the form over here, automatically the test response will be sent towards Pably Connect so that we can test our integration. Now, because I'm not running any live campaign on my Facebook page for my business, therefore, I could not send the response of a real lead towards Pably Connect. Therefore, I'm testing my integration with the help of lead ads testing tool. But in your case, when you will be running a live campaign and then you will create the lead gen form as soon as a person is going to fill that form the response of that real lead will automatically be captured in your Pably Connect account now let's move further and I will select the page I use herbal store and now here my form that is organic product form is already selected it is given that if you want to create a new lead that means if you want to send a test response of a new lead you will first have to delete an existing lead associated with this particular form so let's click on delete lead button and as the lead is deleted, let's refresh the page once. Once again, I'm going to select my page and now we can click on preview form. So this is very important step. Once you will delete the existing lead, you also have to refresh the page. And then once again, you have to select the page in the form so that a new form could be open in front of you. Let's click on preview form button and the form is open in front of us. So this is a contact form which I have created for generating leads for my herbal store. And now I want that as soon as a person is going to fill this form with all the details, the response of that lead should be captured in Pably Connect automatically. Now, first of all, I'm going to enter the details in these fields to submit it. And because I'm doing a test submission, here I'm going to enter the dummy details. Let's start with the full name. Let's say the full name is test user, a random phone number, and at last a random email test user 47 at the rate publitudes.com. Now here we have entered the details. Now we'll click on next and we will submit the form. So as soon as we have submitted the form, let's go back towards Pably Connect and we will see that we have received the response over here with all the details, full name, phone number and the email which we have entered in the form. So because we have received this response, that means our integration between Facebook lead ads and Pably Connect is successful. Now let's move further and our next motive is to get an instant notification on WhatsApp whenever the Facebook lead will be captured. For that, I'm going to connect Vati over here with Pably Connect. If you want, you can also use any other application in place of Vati for sending WhatsApp template messages such as Interact or AI Sensi. Now, let us connect Vati over here. We will select our action application as Vati. And now in the action event, I'm going to select send template message. We will click on connect. And here from the given options, I'm going to select add new connection to build a new connection with Vati account. After clicking on add new connection, we have to enter two details, API endpoint and access token. From where we are going to find both the details. For that, the instructions are provided to us. Okay, so we just have to go towards our Vati dashboard and then we have to click on API docs. Under API docs, we will find both the details. So let me take you towards my Vati account and we will go towards API docs. And here are both the details, the access token and the API endpoint. So first of all, let us copy the API endpoint and we will paste it over here in the field. 
The next is access token. Let's go back and copy the access token also and we'll quickly paste it over here in the field. Done. In the same manner, you have to find both the details and now we'll click on save. As we have done that, our Vati account is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. So we will move further and here we have to enter the details in these fields so that WhatsApp message could be sent. First of all, it is asking us for the WhatsApp number. In this field, we have to enter the number on which we want to send the message. Let's suppose I am the admin of my team and I want to receive the WhatsApp notification whenever a new lead will be generated from Facebook. So here I am going to enter my WhatsApp number. Okay. But in case if you want to send WhatsApp alert to any other person of your team member, here you have to enter the number of that person okay so basically on whatever number we want to send whatsapp message here we are going to enter that number so i am simply going to enter my number over here so i have entered my number and now we are going to move further the next it is asking us is the template name now in order to understand this i am going to again take you towards my vati account and we will go towards template section we can find that here are multiple templates already created for different purposes. Now, in order to receive the WhatsApp notification for Facebook leads, I have created a new template with a name as lead alerts. I am going to open it and show you. So this is the template with a name as lead alerts. The category which I have selected is utility and I have selected English language for receiving the messages. Okay. In the broadcast title, I have entered new lead alert, the alert notification and whatever you are going to select in your broadcast title is going to be shown in the bold in the header of your message okay if you want to attach any particular image along with this message you can also use broadcast title type as image okay the next is the body of the message so i have entered the body as hello you have a new lead on facebook page here are the details name email contact regards so this is a basic message which i want to receive whenever a new facebook lead will be generated for my business okay now in the place of name email and contact i have used variables so that dynamic details could be entered over here for receiving multiple messages now because i have used variable in the place of name email and contact whenever a new lead will be generated from facebook lead ads and the response will be captured in public connect automatically i'm going to receive whatsapp notification with all the new details that is new name new email and the new contact number of that new facebook lead so in the same manner by using variables we can customize our template message according to our choice now after entering the content and entering the variables we also have to provide the sample content for the variables which we have used as you can find i have used three variables in the message therefore i have provided the sample content for three variables name email and contact so basically sample contents are the dummy values which we are going to use in the place of variables they are not required to be exact always we can also provide dummy details over here now once you will complete creating your template you also have to send it for approval and once it will get approved you can definitely use it in order to send multiple whatsapp messages in the customized format now here my template is approved so i'm going to use it in order to receive whatsapp alert messages we will move towards Pabli connect and we will select the template name from the drop down as lead alert okay the next thing it is asking us is the broadcast name okay so in this field we have to enter the broadcast title which we have used in our template again we will move towards Vati and I'm going to open my template and this is my broadcast title new lead alert the same I'm going to enter here in Pabli connect we have to enter the exact broadcast title so this is my broadcast name okay the next and the very important field in this particular workflow is the custom parameters. Now, here in this field, we have to provide the name of our variables along with the values which we want to use in our template. Okay, so whatever variables you have used in your template, here you have to provide the name of that variable and the value which you want to use in front of that variable and that too in the given format. So we just have to copy the given format and we will paste it over here in the field. And now we are going to make the necessary changes in this format only. So first of all, here in the place of name, we need to provide the name of our variable. I have used three variables. The first variable is for name. So I'm simply going to enter name over here. And now what value I want to use in place of name? I want to use the name of the Facebook lead. We have already received the details of our Facebook leads from our earlier response that is from Facebook lead ads response. So we will map the same data over here. Now what is mapping? Mapping is inserting the data from previous step. Here our previous step is given. When we will select that all the details are here. Now whatever data we want we will simply select that and it is mapped. So because we have mapped this data, it has become dynamic now and it is going to be changed with each and every response. But whatever data we have entered manually is going to be same and it has become static. And in this way, we can automate the entire process of receiving WhatsApp messages. So whenever a new lead will be generated from Facebook lead ads, automatically a new WhatsApp message will be received to us along with all the new details of that new lead.
here the next variable which we have used is for email so again what i'm going to do i'm simply going to copy the exact format and i will use a comma a space and i will paste the format over here and now we are going to again make the changes so name of another variable is email and now we are simply going to map the email from our previous response this is the email once again i will use a comma a space and again i'm going to paste the format over here the third and the last variable is for contact number so the name of the variable is contact and the value which we want to use is the contact number so we have mapped the contact number over here in the same manner in order to reduce the chance of errors in your workflow you can follow the same trick just copy the format given over here paste it in the field and then make the necessary changes okay if you want to enter the values for more than one variables then use a comma a space and again copy and paste the format okay let's click on save and send test request to check whether the message is received to us or not with the details and here we have received the response so let's go and check on whatsapp whether we have received the facebook lead ads alert message there or not and yes we can find that we have received the message new lead alert hello you have a new lead on your facebook page here are the details name email contact regards so this means that our workflow is perfectly successful and we have successfully built an integration between facebook lead ads and wati now here whenever a new lead will be generated from facebook lead ads automatically we are going to receive a whatsapp notification along with the same template message but with new details of a new lead Okay, so after completing the workflow, let's go back towards Pabli Connect and we will summarize what we have done here in this workflow. So we have taken two simple steps, trigger and action. In trigger, we have taken Facebook lead ads and in action, we have taken Vati. I have used Vati over here to send WhatsApp template messages. If you want, you can also use any other application. Now, we have connected both of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that now whenever a new lead will be generated through Facebook lead ads, automatically we are going to receive a WhatsApp notification for that lead alert along with all the details related to that same lead. So in the same manner, you can very easily create this automation and this is going to help you to automatically receive the WhatsApp notification whenever a Facebook lead will be generated for your business along with all the details of that lead. And further by receiving the notification and the details of the lead, you can also connect them easily to nurture the leads further. Okay, so this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can directly reach out to us at support at the If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to ask any pricing related issue, then you can directly reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget it to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations.